In this episode, we take my 1995 Ford F-150 on the longest Sunday drive ever. Welcome to the channel. I'm Gary Tommy. This is Street Six Fan, your home for offbeat hot rodding, and we are just leaving church here on Sunday morning in the old 95 Ford F 150, 4.9 liter. And uh, we're about to embark on a, oh, it'll probably be a two hour, right around a two hour drive, maybe a little under 140 mile drive. And um, so we'll see how this thing does. This is sort of my first. My first attempt to add a roadkill episode, because I have no idea how dependable this thing's going to be. Um, if you caught my last episode, you know I put new plugs, new wires in. I guess it runs a little bit better, <laughs> but it's still pretty rough. So anyway, I'm going to probably be going back and forth between showing you part of the journey and... Uh, you know, just this. Talk to you in the camera. So, anyway, I will be turning it back on when something exciting happens. And, um, we pick Sunday morning. Of course, this traffic's gonna be the least busy to make this trip. So, went to early service. Alright, well, first thing. Straight pipe is obnoxious. It is pretty loud in here. Although, having a hole in the cab probably doesn't help matters either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far so good. We are we are going 65 miles an hour, and that's uh, that's a victory. So Reese said it's going to take two miles, two miles, two hours uh, to go about 140 miles or a little less. Is uh, I'm avoiding as much interstate as possible. There will be probably a oh seven mile stretch of interstate I got to do, but uh, otherwise it's county highways, and state highways. That Beautiful morning here, October 10th, uh, in Northeast Kansas. So far about 30 miles in, no issues whatsoever, traffic's been stupid light. I've maybe had uh, two cars in front of me for the last 15 miles or something, but pretty stress-free, really, uh, really thinking we made the right decision here Sunday morning, a little after 9. It's, it's barely, it's, it's not even 9.30 yet. what I got to do to, to go straight down the road. Now, I can't exactly remember, but since I did rear in that vehicle, I feel like the steering got a little screwed up, but I don't recall it being this bad. But uh, yeah, already once my wife, who's following me in the Mustang, uh, we were on the phone and said, uh, you're kind of swerving all over the road. Well, this is why. And the feedback loop is uh, feedback loop on it is pretty. I don't know, delayed. Whatever. I don't know the right term to use there. Okay, we're about 40 miles in. Decided so to stop off and grab some coffee at the old Starbucks back there. So um, while my wife's getting that, just figured give you an update. It's running good. I mean, well, for what it is, right? No problems so far. So. 40 miles in, 100 to go. Uh, just a beautiful fall morning. It's like it's light breeze, 74 degrees or something. It's it's awesome. Well, I found someone I'm driving faster than. Now I'm in like that no man's land. Do I pass or do I stay? I guess I stay. But this is the uh, this is the stretch of interstate we're gonna go on. I don't know exactly for how long. I'm guessing like seven miles. I think it's what I said earlier, but I don't know if that's true or not. But we'll see. It's gone up. I've got it up to 70 once. The funny thing is, I'm trying to figure out which one I think is more sketchy past 65. My Fairmont 
shakes an awful amount to the closer you are to 70 after getting over 65. I, it's kind of funny how both, both vehicles act the same way. But here we go. I-70 West. So there you have it. That was actually only probably barely five miles. So that wasn't bad at all. Um, so I'm still surprised I'm passing people. Gonna keep forging ahead and uh, try to get. 
know I've got AC, but it, it's been a while since I got to, been a minute, you might say, since I got to enjoy life's simple pleasure of the vent window. <laughs> kind of the perfect day for that, really. But uh, probably bad for your audio, but we're about ready to roll into Council Grove, Kansas, which is kind of the last major milestone before we arrive at our meeting place, which is Strong City, Kansas. of the, uh, the 300 Ford, right? So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. A little, uh, little uneventful, I guess. You are probably hoping I, I don't know, lost the gear or something in the transmission, but uh, nope, we, uh, we're gonna make it. And um, I guess it's, uh, still, it's a new chapter for the channel. There will be more content on this truck, on swapping parts over to mom and dad's truck, things like that. Uh, I don't know the exact time time frame for that, but um, like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't care which one you do, as long as you do one, it really helps the channel out. That's going to do it for this episode, and we just wanted to say, all my six fans out there, 